Godzilla Minus One is likely to be a mega hit. It's a family-friendly Godzilla movie. You get to see Godzilla within the first five minutes of the movie. It's truly an incredible film. Every 15 minutes, there's a highlight scene. This time, it's exceptional. It's an unbelievable Godzilla movie where kids won't get bored. And, you know, there's hardly any blood, mostly. Now, there are definitely scenes where the main characters or other characters get injured and there's a bit of blood, but it's nothing like those gruesome images you usually see in monster movies. We're talking about mutilated limbs or faces half torn off. None of that stuff. In the scenes where Godzilla attacks early on, they only show humans who have fallen. Those who are fully intact are shown lying down as if dead, and those covered with claws, well, they might be missing parts, but it's not explicitly shown or anything. And let's talk about the fact that there's no really gruesome imagery at all. Like, there are scenes where Godzilla bites and swings its prey around, kind of similar to what you see in Jurassic Park. And speaking of Jurassic Park, they were super careful in this regard, too. Even when creatures are bitten and swung around, their bodies don't tear apart. Even if Godzilla bites the neck and swings, the neck doesn't rip off. When bitten and then released, the humans are tossed away, screaming, which means they're still alive, right? The moment they land is never, ever shown on camera. So this makes the movie incredibly safe in terms of ratings. Families can totally watch it together, and it meets the American standards, no problem. I'm actually thinking it could be a contender for the Academy Awards, believe it or not.